assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you all i hope that you all are fine and doing well at home well i'm your english teacher miss eram nas and i welcome everyone present here i would like to extend my warmest wishes to all of you on the beginning of the new academic year session 2122 let me first congratulate to those who attained high grades as we all know that the beginning of something new is always amazing and we all feel the same here i am talking about the new academic session and the next chapter of your life means a lot of challenges and it depends on you that how you make the strategy overcome the challenges being a teacher i strongly believe that each child is different and unique and this is the place where a proper shape is given to your future so let us begin our new academic session and this is class 1 your english book fecent english now open your book and let's proceed further well my dear ones as you know that from you are coming from kg class to class 1 yahan par hum aapko homeworks diye denge aapke task honge kuch kaam hum class mein karenge aur kuch aapko as a homework bhi given hoga that will be given in your weekly diary okay so what is our today's task today we will do fecent english page number 4 and fecent english page number 5 allah is everywhere we will uh, uh, practice the flash cards and also read half the poem so let us begin ji my dear one so when you will turn the page first of all you will see the content page कॉन्टेंट पेज क्या होता है बेसिकली ये हमारा जो ये बुक है हमारी जो ये बुक है फीस इन इंग्लिश बुक वन इट इज डिपेंड्स इट इज ऑन फाइव टेन यूनिट्स जिसमें से फर्स्ट फाइव हम अपने मिड टर्म में पढ़ेंगे एंड द रिमेनिंग विल बी डन इन द फाइनल टर्म द यूनिट्स दैट वी विल कवर इन द मिड टर्म इज वन टू थ्री फोर and five so you have to mark it with your pencils or keep uh, aapko jab aapko workbook school workbook di jayegi to usme bhi aapko mention hoga aapke jo content page agar aap bahut gaur se dekhein to usme aapko nazar aayega ki unit 1 mein it is sub divided into two um, subject two parts first one is the poem and some of the stories are fiction and some of the stories are non fiction उसके बाद आप हर यूनिट में एक स्पेशल ग्रामर पार्ट पढ़ेंगे एंड अलोंग विद दैट यू विल आल्सो डू द स्पीकिंग स्किल्स राइटिंग स्किल्स ये सारे जो आपके एलिमेंट्स हैं हम इस यूनिट में कवर करेंगे ठीक है तो द मेन टॉपिक जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम यूनिट नंबर वन से हम स्टार्ट करते हैं दैट इज़ द फ्रेंडलीनेस इन दिस टॉपिक ऑफ द यूनिट वॉट यू विल डू इट 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 इंक्लूड्स अ पोइम अ स्टोरी एंड अ डायलॉग तो सब यूनिट से पहले आपको एक प्री स्टडी एक्टिविटीज दी जाएगी उस प्री स्टडी एक्टिविटीज में क्या होगा स्टूडेंट्स कि आपको डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स पहले से ही प्रैक्टिस करवा दी जाएगी उसके बाद आपने उस यूनिट में क्या क्या पढ़ना है आपको पहले से हल्का सा आपको वार्म अप कर दिया जाएगा ताकि वेन यू स्टार्ट दैट पोइम दैट स्टोरी सो दैट इज नॉट द वर्ड्स विल नॉट बी वेरी स्ट्रेंज फॉर यू इट विल बी नॉट न्यू फॉर यू आप जब उसके प्रैक्टिस पहले कर चुके होंगे so that will be very easy theek hai so what exactly we are going to learn we are going to learn some basic sentence making very different vocabularies differentiate between vowels and consonants and the concept of, of capital and small letters and how to arrange the words in the alphabetic order so let us begin our today's work This is your page number four. On page number four, students, what you have to do, you have to first write the date and day on top of the page. When you have written the date and day, then you will start question number one. Read the following word loudly. यहाँ आपको कुछ words नजर आ रहे हैं. That is in the box. The first one is respond, respond, village, village, cup. कब स्टीप स्टीप एम टी एम टी मील मील शीप शीप ग्रेटेस्ट ग्रेटेस्ट रोंग रोंग जंगल जंगल 
Now what you have to do students, you have to read and learn these words. आपको जब इन words की पहचान हो जाएगी तो unit में या किसी भी story में कहीं भी ये word नजर आए so you will be able to read it loudly. What you have to do, you have to practice each words two to three times so that you are able to recognize and read these words. Okay? So let us come to question number two. Write the above words and their beginning sounds. Jaise first word humne likha hai yaan pe aapke liye respond. Respond. Ab respond ka beginning sound first letter kya hai? It's R. To aap uske saath wale block mein kya likhenge? R. The next word is village. Village. Village is beginning with the letter V. V. Village. So what you will write? V in the column. Now let's proceed with the question number three that is write the names of the given word. Over here you can see some pictures of uh, the words that were given above. Ab unko picture form mein diya and you have to guess that what exactly is this picture. In the first picture it's there's so many trees and so many you can see greenery over there. So what exactly is this picture? This is a picture of a village. Sorry jungle. This is a picture of a Jungle. Excellent. Now let's look at the picture number two. It's the baby lion. What is a baby lion called? Think and write in the column number two. Third, you can see a house that is made of straw. एक ऐसा घर जो अक्सर आपको नजर आया आता है जो कि कच्ची मिट्टी के बने होते हैं और straws के बने होते हैं. तो ये basically कहाँ का मंजर है? This picture is a village. गांव. Village. Now you have to guess the last animal that what exactly is the last animal. Its name kya hai? And you have to find it in the above words and write in this box. Okay? Gee my dear ones, now let us proceed further. Before beginning the reading of the poem, what we will do, we will uh, see the flashcards, the keywords that are in that poem. So, skin keywords and flashcards, ke zariye, what will happen that if you practice it more and more, you will be able to learn these words and memorize their spellings also, okay? So, let us begin with the first flashcard that is hair. Hair, कोई भी चीज जब आपके पास होती है, it means आप कहेंगे that this is hair. For example, if you look at the picture, the boy is hair. The second word is there. When a person or something is far away from you, आपसे दूर होती है, तो हम कहते हैं there. वहाँ. Next is listen. Listen. Listen का मतलब है सुनना. अगर आपको नजर आ रहा है that I have break uh, these uh, the word listen into two syllables lis and n listen तो इसको आपने क्या करना है break down करना है two syllable में it's a two syllable word listen listen next word is respond 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 का मतलब है कि जवाब देना respond Next word is write. Write. Sahi. Write. Next word is wrong. Galat. Galat. Wrong. Wrong. Next word is speak. Bolna. Speak. Bolna. Next word is Quran. Our holy book. Quran. And the last word is through. Zariya. Through. Zariya. So my dear ones, let's practice these words again. These keywords along with the flashcards. Hear. There. Listen. Respond. Right. Wrong. Speaks. Quran. Through. Through. Now what you have to do, you have to practice it more and more so that you can understand all the words and when you read the poem you can learn it easily gee my dear ones so let us start reciting our poem allah is everywhere allah har jagah hai allah is everywhere allah har jagah hai he is here and he is there allah yahan hai aur allah wahan hai 
ही लिसन्स टू अस एंड रिस्पॉन्ड्स वो हमें सुनते भी हैं और हमारी बातों का और हमारी दुआओं का जवाब भी देते हैं वॉट इज़ राइट एंड वॉट इज़ रॉन्ग क्या सही है और क्या गलत है He speaks to us through Quran और वो Quran के जरिए हमसे बातें करते हैं और हमें हदायत देते हैं Let's begin again. He is here and he is there. He listens to us and responds. What is right and what is wrong? He speaks to us through Quran. Very good. एंड आपने यही फोर लाइन्स को बार बार प्रैक्टिस करनी है और आपने अपनी ऑडियो के साथ अपने क्लास ग्रुप में सेंड करनी है ये ऑन वेनेसडे वेनेसडे को आपने अपनी इन फोर लाइन्स को अपने नेम के साथ इंट्रोडक्ट सबसे पहले आपने अपना नाम इंट्रोड्यूस करना है दैट माय नेम इज़ मिस्टर दिस एंड दैट एंड आई स्टडी इन क्लास वन और अपना सेक्शन बताने के बाद फिर आपने ये फोर लाइन्स को पढ़ना है और अपना ऑडियो हम क्लिप जो मैसेज है हमें अपने व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में सेंड करना है ठीक है अगेन आई रिपीट इट फॉर यू अल्लाह इज एवरीवेयर ही इज हेयर एंड ही इज देयर ही लिसन्स अस एंड रिस्पॉन्स व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग ही स्पीक्स अस थ्रू कुरआन That's all my dear students don't uh, do your work very neatly and carefully and learn and practice the difficult words and don't forget to send the audio message in your class group uh, I hope that you like the video so this is Miss Iramna signing off and thank you so much for listening to the video take care Allah Hafiz